Enjoy, guys. Morning. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it suck when they're just filming you and everyone's just like what? chirping you the whole time? <laughs> I'm Ryan Cochran Siegel. Uh, I'm an alpine skier for the US ski team and been skiing since I was two years old. Yeah. You always have a dream as a kid. I think getting to grow up with cousins who were racing on the World Cup, having my mom had her success, I think it just allowed me to really see that vision and um, believe in myself to be able to go out there and chase that. The thing that protects us the most is our, our head and our mind, you know, skiing clearly, um, assessing risk, assessing the consequences, but at the end of the day, it's just us right there against the forces that we're working against. Straight. Go round. Yeah. <laughs> this has never been so steep in my life. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I feel like it's always like that. Up like that? Yeah. I don't know. I want to go here. I'm tempted to go tight. Yeah, let's go. go Try on. it. Shake this one. 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 Shake Travis is going to say that and then he's going to be out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool to try it on the training run, like for sure. It's just you're gonna be pushing so hard underneath yeah, in there. Yeah, grind down there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go super tight and tickety. Let's try it. Yeah. Wee waxy. Oh, oh, tickety too. Tickety yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you, what are you like? I'm just gonna be pretty loose. Off, yeah. So. I think, you know, by the time we come to race day. We're trying to take the experiences we've had in training runs and execute to the best of our ability. You know, we're all trying to ski a pretty similar line, I think. And it's just about the best skier is usually the one that's able to execute it. It's crazy though, when you look at the top 10, like you get to like 11 and 12 and then it's just the separation from the top guys. It's like crazy. Yeah. What are you, what's your bib? 10. 10, you said. Yeah. It's pretty dark, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just thinking that. <laughs> the best athletes, for the most part, they're the ones that are capable of winning every day, day in and day out. But I think it's about the confidence you go into a race and believing in yourself to go out there and win allows you to do so. Give me around. Five. Four. Three. Two. Stop. Right on. just very disconnected like transitions were rushed movements were pretty limited not like a lot of dynamic movement I think it's like key to get to fall line and stay there for a while and then build the turn and release too yeah we need it well you know but yeah it could be you know once you will you will be more dynamic you know you'll get more out of it yeah it looked to me like you run you were relaxed you know, yeah. you were, you were, you, I wasn't it doesn't feel, at all. it doesn't yeah. feel, I don't think like, yeah, the, the connection you're looking for with the, the feeling was there for anybody really, but it still <laughs> looked like you were able to do what you wanted to do. These two turns just like felt like I was skiing on like 300 centimeter long skis. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to try to actually like ski with intensity, ski close to race pace. Coming off a World Cup win last season, what are you working toward? I'm trying to get better at skiing, but it's, it seems harder and harder. What you thought was once true doesn't end up being true. Like, <laughs> yeah, you constantly just gotta go around. Yeah, like, like 
But you like kind of zone in a little bit and then it like gets bigger and then it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's really impressive that people can just be so like dialed in and like honed in. Yeah. The best guys. Yeah. I think there's truth in that. Like that is, that's what is, makes me like very interested in ski racing still. If we run today, it's gonna be really high tempo. It's crazy how straight we waxy is. I think when you're talking to so many different people and yeah, you're gaining so much information from the course and what coaches are telling you, it's about filtering what information is useful and what information, you know, might not be that important. Yeah. So there's no danger to pinch it, which is kind of nice. Which is crazy. Yeah. That means you can kind of just hammer into it. Yes. Um, Randy said um, it's not a big jump there, slower than he thought. So yeah. It was a little bit bumpy, but it's fine. Okay. I like to be able to, you know, look at a course, go up to the start, not hear anything, and just go out and, and ski, because I think that's when I'm skiing in my most natural form. I think the cool part about racing is from the start to the finish, I think you kind of, your mind does kind of go silent and it's just reacting and, and moving with the hill. And that's a lot of fun. Not there. <laughs> Where I'll ski conservative is because I think I'm being calculated. And then you'll see like how someone like Kilda or Odomat or Meyer, how they ski it. Like they're holding on less. They recognize they can ski more to the limit. And I'm still learning that limit. Also looks like it would have been a nice day for a training run. What animal do you say? Tell me everything. I gotta look it up. Um, what did it look like? It was like ferret-ish. I have photos on my camera. You're gonna love it. Really? Yeah. How was your knee yesterday? Oh, it felt like I hadn't skied in a while. Yeah. Ryan just needs like maintenance on his knee, basically. He just gets like chronic swelling, so just trying to get the swelling out and his knee range a little bit better so that it doesn't bother him while he's skiing. <laughs> the range of motion into their knees is not always normal. Yeah. I'm pushing really hard. Yeah. Can you breathe with this? It's, a, it's about intimidation, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I look scarier like yeah, this. You scary me. Like <laughs> yeah. I say, how strong you can be? <laughs> you don't need to breathe. <laughs> Walk Jack and then go. Oh, holy shit. That was a sick save. I think this was my best run down the downhill um, this week. I think, you know, there's parts that had I been able to execute earlier in the week, I think I would have been more confident just in a couple turns. I mean, you watch, I think the top three, four guys, they're just they're committed to skiing that aggressive entry point to turns and really building through it. And I think I'm just like a little bit soft in that. I think more and more I feel like I belong, um, but it takes work to stay there and, and to keep 
pushing forward and moving up.